What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now, I know you didn't see them meatballs in that thumbnail. Listen, this is just like a super easy Italian meatball recipe that anybody can make. Hey, listen, I'm not finna over talk it. We finna go right over these ingredients. You can make them two ways. This right here, this is my cast iron. You can, boil, you can brown them here and do them that way, or you can do them in the oven. I'm gonna do mine in the oven right now. I know it's hot, so you guys know you can do it two ways. Hey, with that being said, let me just go ahead and just start. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven, hit bake. We're gonna go to 400 degrees, then we're gonna hit start. Now, it's really up to you. If you guys are gonna do these and these meatballs, right, you can use 90% or you can use 80-20. Don't forget, if you do 80-20, it's gonna render a lot of fat, right? Now, we got beef broth, clothes, guarded clothes. Look, check this out. Grated the onions right here, right? That keeps it nice and fine. You lose that crunch. That's what you wanna do right there. Look, we got parsley, we got Parmesan, and check it out. We got breadcrumbs. Now, let me just say this. With those ingredients, and you heard that, tell me what you think. This ain't nothing but, what is it? You guys got it. It's nothing but like meatloaf. Hey, super easy. We don't wanna make them so dense. And again, I'm not finna over talk it. We finna get right in here. So look, I'm gonna bring you guys closer and let's go ahead and let's get these working. Okay, look, so really this is like a dump and go, right? But there's one step that I like to do, you know, prior to starting, right? So look, we got our broth, our beef broth. Check this out. We gonna pour our crumbs in here like that and just let everything soak. We just stir this in here. We just want the bread crumbs. Check it out. We want them to soak up some of that flavor. You know what it does? It just like swells up. Hey, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna let you guys just see it. And most of all, I'm gonna let you guys taste it. But this right here is a little pro tip. But if you can see, it's starting to get a little, you know, thick. And we'll let that continue on just like that. Put that off to the side and let that continue to soak up and swell up and get big. Now, I just mentioned to you guys a dump and go, right? So listen, you just take everything else that you have and just dump it in here just like this. You gotta love these kind of recipes. These right here will be super quick. Now, when it comes to this, I like to save a little bit of my parsley, you know, for garnish, right? So I just put a little bit more, lamb, something like about a tablespoon. You know what I mean? We'll just do it like that. And then we're gonna put a smile on my face. I'm gonna get my garlic pressed. Put these in here like this. Hey, and I want you guys to let me know what you think down in the comment section below. You know what, do you like to have these fast paced, you know, videos like this? Let me know. Get this, and we just scrape that because we want to get all of that garlic flavor, right? It's up to you. You know when you say Italian, you know you gotta have that garlic. Now we get our egg. Go ahead and get that in there right now. Cause listen, we gotta build that, that binder. Now, let me get myself a spatula. And now we add. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. See how that is? Look. We get in there with his hands. You know what I mean? That's why I got the glove on and now we mix, right? You kind of like just want to mix it and then fold it a little bit. Don't make it so, you know, overworked, you know, our beef. You know what I mean? We just want to make make it so that everything is incorporated. And we want it to be, you know, a little bit on the airy side too. Okay, so look, I'm going to be using the ice cream scoop, right? So this is where it's going to be key. Even though I'm doing this, this is like to try to get them all about the same size. The main thing is I want to get them all the same size here when I start, right? So look, I got them like that. Right here, we halfway round. I just bring it like this. You don't want to like make it compact, you know, then you just set it down, just like that. Now, I'm gonna repeat this process, but just so you guys can see, this just makes them all about the same size. You know what, I want to start with the same amount of meat, right? So that's good, take it out. a Couple of times around like this. I'm not packing it, I'm just getting it to be more of a round shape. And they should be like nice and soft like that, right? Now, if you guys are gonna be using these and you're gonna be using your cast iron skillet, like trying to do a, a great, I mean, trying to do the browning technique, you know what I mean? You want it really to be soft like this. Only thing about that is it takes a little time to put that color on there and that little bit of crust, you know? It's because you gotta keep moving around. That's why I say the bait is the best way to go. Okay, so look, now that I'm done, you guys can see. And then if you look right here, look, you can make them all this size. I did the one like this so you guys can see if you, it depends on what size ice cream scooper. But if I use this, sift off the top and then round it, that's what size it is. But I like mine to be a little bit more. You can give each person two. So this right here will serve several people. All right, so look, I'm gonna put these in the oven. We already preheated, I'm at 400 degrees. Look, I'm gonna put them in here for 20 minutes. But I'm gonna set myself a timer for 17 minutes and then I wanna check the internal temp. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. When will those be ready? Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, listen, they be ready at 165 degrees. So, 
Got my thermometer here. I'll check them at 17 minutes and then we go from there. Okay, so look, my timer just went off. I checked them. I had to rotate my pan, you know, so that I can get everybody at 165 at about the same time, right? So I want you guys to take a look at that right there. Man, those look great. Now, you got two ways. We could take these, we could put this, cause I set aside some, you know, some of my spaghetti sauce, right? So I can put those in there and get them nice and coated, or you can put them on top, however you want to do it. To be honest with you, usually when I make them like this, I take them like this and I put them on some mashed potatoes and hit it with a bit of that dark gravy. You know what I mean? Hey, but with, I'm, with that being said, look, let's go ahead and plate. I got that spaghetti and let's get it. Hey, so look, one of the things I want to show you is, hopefully I can get this to come across on the camera, right? I want you to look and you can just see how, look how, <laughs> Man, this is tender. And again, I already hit it with my meat thermometer, like 165 a piece, right? Actually, this one was about 172. But I just want you guys to just see just how it is. Right now, I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna cut this like this. Ah, yeah. Now, look at that right there. This is what you want. Check it out, folks. Cheers. Mm. Nothing like a meatball that's seasoned just right. Whew, my goodness. To be honest with you, this doesn't need nothing. You guys can like serve these up, you know, whatever you want to. But look, you gotta put some type of some type of covering on it. So for me, I, like I said, you can go with a dark gravy or you can go with like, you know, spaghetti sauce, but why not do spaghetti and meatballs? Mm. Mm. These are fire. Okay. So what I did was I just took some of the meatballs, right? I told you I saved aside some of my spaghetti sauce, right? So I just dipped it in there, heated it back up, and now we're just gonna place these right here like that. Now you guys get a chance to see, you know, just about how big they are, right? So I'm just gonna put three of these in here like this. Let's move this one over just a little bit, make room for his buddy, right? We put these here like this. That right there is what you wanna have. Now, if you guys wanna know how I make my spaghetti sauce and all of that, I'll leave that down in the description box below. So now we finna take this Parmesan and I'm finna show you how to make it work, folks. Okay, and so now we just go ahead and grate a little bit of this Parmesan on here. Check it out. You tell me what you think about that there. Then we'll go ahead and hit it with a little bit of this, a little bit of this garnish that we, you know, save back. And I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about this. I got to know this down in the comment section below. Hey, do you guys put your, do you cook your spaghetti noodles, you know, with your sauce on there? Or do you do it the restaurant way and put sauce, put noodle on your plate and then put the sauce. But that right there, folks, look at that right there. Now that's fire. Hey, as you guys can see, just like super easy and it's like versatile, right? If I'd have made a dark gravy, we could have put these over the top, served these over mashed potatoes. If you just want to have meatball and a, you know, a good spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce or something like that, these are great for that. They great standalone by themselves. Hey, all of that being said, now it's time to dig in again. This time, you know, we got that sauce on it, right? So we just hit it like this. Cheers again, folks. Hmm. This is right. So listen, you want to talk about being moist and all of that. <clears throat> if you like meatloaf, you're going to love these. Because when you think about it, a meatball, meatloaf, they all the same. Hey, super easy, crowd pleasers, and I'm going to get it again. That right there is real nice. Now look, I didn't explain everything to you. Meatballs can be standalone. You know what I mean? Meatballs, meatloaf. Hey, but you guys gotta taste it. You wanna talk about, this gets you kinda like close. I know all of my Italians, they gonna say something, but I think this is very, very close to being an authentic uh, meatball. Listen, I took the meatballs, put them in, I saved some of my spaghetti sauce, set them off to the side, got them nice and hot, and you know what I mean? And then, you know, coated that. That's where this came in at. Reason you don't see me eating this right now, cause somebody behind that camera got their name on it. Hey, so with that being said, listen, I gotta say this too. And this is, you know what, I'm telling you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
Thank you for making these boards, these custom boards, these aprons, and every other thing like the barbecue sauce a success. Listen, I'm getting low. I just want to say, hey, thank you for everybody that got them. And if you guys didn't know, this is your first time hearing it, I want you guys to look down in the number one comment, look in the description box, and then look underneath this video, and you'll see I have my store there also. If you guys get a board, anything that's over like 100 bucks, you can divide the payments up into four easy payments. Hey, with that being said, let me just take this time to say, if you're new to my channel, let me say thank you. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button button and tell everybody out there listen it's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and with that being said folks i got a couple of more meatballs to eat guess what i'm out peace